What's going on, everybody? And today, if you're gonna get an air mod spotlight for you guys today, this one's on the Yugo mod, Yugo Craft, <laughs> Yugo Craft mod. And what this mod adds, it's a really phenomenal mod, really unique. I've never seen anything like this before. But you have five different blocks here, and each should do something different. This one here is a cannon. This one here is a rotation, so it turns blocks. This one here are end caps. These two here are end caps. And this one here moves blocks. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Um, let's go ahead and do the uh, moving block first. And go ahead and place the block down. I have no idea how to craft this block. Okay, all I know to do is craft this, and that's about it. I recommend using too many items because they do not show up in creative mode for some reason. Um, so too many items. Page three on mine. That's where they're at right there. Um, the instruct the people who made this are are um, speak J speak Japan um, Japanese, and they don't know any English, I believe. Um, it's all I've read some of their comments, and like we don't know English that well. And um, stuff like that may be wrong, but that's that's what I've read from the actual mod um, creators. So it's in Japanese, so it's kind of hard for a person like me who doesn't know Japanese. I only know English, so it's kind of hard to read Japanese or have it translated because it's not translated correctly. Like it's made for people who know Japanese, not English. So as you can see here, it moves back and forth. Very nice. It goes. You can, just, you can doggle the switch back and forth like so. It's really nice. But as you can see, this one here is off. This one here is on. It's on because when this switch is off, it's going to go to this block, and when it's on, it's going to go to that block. So that's how, that's how that works. And um, you can actually add more blocks to it if you want to. Let's go ahead and add two right here. You can add blocks to it. Very simple. You can also add blocks that don't move. So let's say um, you put these plates here, which I'll try to make in a second, and put them like that. These blocks will not move. They will say put because those plates separate them. Now that's how you make those, make, make those plates. Um, take a uh, slime ball, and you just go ahead and put these iron ingots on top of it. There you go, you get 16 of them. Pretty nice if you ask me. And that's how you make those, and that's basically it for this. And I'll get to back to it here in a second, when I get my little PDA thing out. Now this here's a rotation block, and this thing's really awesome. Um, we're going to go ahead and make a uh, little umbrella type thing, and we'll have it turning. And there's a lot of possibilities you can do with these mods. I'm just showing you simple stuff, and then at the end I'll show you some of the stuff I've made really fast and you see it rotates it now that's awesome you know if you ask, that's freaking awesome you can get on top of this and you have like little wars like imagine a battlefield like um i forget like tower defense from stuff i think that's what it's called imagine that with certain parts of the map spinning like a straight platform spinning so you have to wait for it to turn and then you get to get to the other side of the map i don't know but there's so many different possibilities for this the um sad part is if you want it to turn off because you can't build on it when it's like this you have to wait for it to go all the way back to the position it was, like the one, like the side. Like not, it doesn't have to go all and wind the entire way. It was winding, but it needs to go right to the same side the block was facing. So that's not the right side. I have a feeling it's going to be this side or this side because it's the only side we haven't done yet. <laughs> so it wait for it to go back to those sides until you can actually build on it, and you can see it turns off. So you can, now you can build on it. But um, that's that. And uh, let's go with the cannon real quick. Last one. And the cannon. It's a little bit different. You need to have a. Uh, for the cannon to work, you're gonna need to have some certain. You, you're gonna need to have gunpowder or TNT. Um, the difference between the two, there is a difference, is that gunpowder um, doesn't go as far as TNT does. TNT has way more power, well, much more power. It's like two of these. Like imagine if you had a second slot here and you put another pack of um, gunpowder in there, that's what this, that's what TNT would be the equivalent of. So you need to have a block on it. It will not work without a block. It needs to have a block. And I recommend buns because as long as this switch is all on and it's power going to this thing, this thing will continually fire. Um, depending on how much gunpowder is in it. If you're in creative mode, like I am, um, gunpowder will not be taken. Um, TN um, TNT won't be taken. But if you're out of creative mode, it will be taken. So as you can see, um, I'm gonna turn it off. There it goes again. Okay, I can't do it just yet. One second, guys. One second. All right, so. As you can see, TNT, I mean, our gunpowder still there, 64 still, but we were out of creative mode. And fire this thing up real quick. I love the sound effects of that explosion, really nice. It's the same thing as TNT, but the smoke and the explosion. No, I don't want to freaking watch it go off again. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, come back down, block. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we are. 62 now, so creative mode doesn't move, and non-creative mode does. So that's that. You can also get on top of the block and have it fire, so it can go up with it. Um, do this real quick. 
and go up over there and you can see it from up top. It's really cool. TNT, like I said, goes much higher up. Be careful when you are not in creative mode, because if you're not in creative mode, you will die. <laughs> like right now, like if, like right now, I would die from the fall right now, so. Dang it. Um, there we are. Sucker. Alright, so that's basically it. So now I'm going to show you guys what I've made. And, uh, actually, hold up. We got one more thing. This little PD device here. I've no idea to do it. And, um, the can doesn't really give you much. It gives you these contact and, um, all those other s options. I don't know what they do. Okay, personally, I don't. I don't really care. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just like a little rotation core settings. Not too sure what that means. What does mean? Um,. Max here is what I like. These things right here. This is max acceleration. So it's going to go from 1 to 10 in acceleration. And we can list this up. So now it's going to go from 1 to 60. Which means it's going to take a long time to do it. It goes like this. And it's going to speed up. It's going to continually go faster and faster and faster and faster. Until it gets to that max height. Um, the PDG is not working these end blocks. These cap, these markers. It's not working that. But it's working this right here. And it's the same thing as the other one. You have the options here to uh, change it. And this right here in this bottom one. Allows you to uh, change the um acceleration so it's going to start at 10 automatically and this one is not going anything above 10 i believe yeah it doesn't go any above 10 but you have the same options as the other you just close the little button right here and uh really nice as you can see we're going about 600 right now and uh when it goes that fast it, inst it instantly stops the uh speed process but same right here you guys right here the little options right there and um rotation right here you can change rotation left right right left so instead of spinning right it's going to spin left direction very nice all right so i'll be back guys i'm gonna show you guys what i've made so far okay so i've made a bunch of crap and a lot of this is pointless and i'll get into it in my other video for glitches um this here's this enormous elevator i'm gonna go and press it we're not gonna go inside because it takes too long and uh, i can see i have an axis there for left and right up and down axis right there and i got a rotation block over there so I can just, it's just gonna go different directions so you can have this on all the way around your house and um like house could be in between this whole entire structure but uh, right here i got a comparison test for tnt versus gunpowder so it does okay i don't know why these guys didn't go off why don't you guys go off i command you to got anything in yeah okay let's go ahead and fix that there we are okay this comparison test test two there we are and I see tnt is much much higher look at that Look at that. Big difference. Okay, moving on. I mean, you can have the rotation blocks turned like this. S1 with about 300 power wise. The certificates on this thing are like, they look like drunken idiots. It's hilarious. Um, I got a windmill right there. I have this little slab. So I have a little lava trap here and stuff. So if, um, for my house defense, if when I'm inside my house, this thing will be powered on. I have like a pressure plate system right there I guess you could have. But um, that's that. I got some elevators here. Elevator down. Elevator up. I got a little bit of a better elevator right here. Powers me up. And then it goes back down. Goes back up. Also go back down. Very nice. Um and yeah, that's a, that's about it. I have a lot of other crap here, like my cannon system here. Which I guess I'll go into. Um this controls which cannons are gonna be firing. So it's only gonna be these guys here, which are gonna fire. Uh I'll go ahead and fire these guys, all of them at once. I guess there we are. Actually, I don't know about it. But you press the fire from up there so you can actually see the damage. But you can fire from down there. Like so. Fire these guys. And you see how it curved downwards? If you didn't see, I'll do it again. This time I'll do the side ones here. If you notice, it curves down almost. Fly over here. And watch these blocks curve down. See that? You see it curved down like that? Why didn't you fire? I don't think that's any TNT in it. Um, let's go ahead and replace that out of TNT. So, if it curves down, what it does is, because the block hitting you doesn't kill you, it does not kill you at all. But it's the curve. When the block starts to curve, that's what gets you. That's what's going to kill you. And, um, it grinds you into the ground, and you are at least like, you're like one block into the ground, but it looks like you're all the way down on the ground. Like, it just feels like your whole, your whole face is covered, but you're technically only one block in the ground. It's kind of weird how it does it. But that's what that does, and it, it kills you. It kills anything and catches it. Specificates will take them for a ride and then kill them. It's hilarious. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I have some tests here. I made I made a TNT modified version. I got enough time to show you guys that, I guess. Um, it wouldn't be really fun if I didn't show you. So let's go ahead and show you the TNT version. 
I choose one block in TNT. I've done three, but sometimes it doesn't get them. is not like doesn't bring them away, and it kind of bugs me. All right, so to set this up, all switches must be on, and you have to have these plates here to uh, separate it so they don't all attach. Because um, when they all attach, if let's say these three are attached, whichever of these three were placed last, that's what that's what your can's gonna fire. So it's kind of messed up like that. I don't really care for it. Best way to get around it: putting those blocks there. It was ignited. Chance is ignited. These guys are gonna fire. Get with it. So, basically, um, imagine this being the floor, ground floor, like right there. I kind of have mine elevated for me. I have no idea why I did it, but this is kind of like a ramp. It's gonna drag that TNT all the way off until it hits the bottom of that ramp. Or in this case, you had a flat ground level. It's gonna take it all the way down here until it blows up. So it's a really nice TNT cannon. It's great because you can kill anything that's in this area right here, and then whatever is there and doesn't die, it's gonna get hit by that freaking stone, and it's gonna take him into the ground and kill him instantaneously. Very nice. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'm gonna have a glitch video up here in a second, an install tutorial, and um, yeah. So uh, yeah, if you wanna see more videos of mine, you go ahead and subscribe or go to my channel and uh, rate, comment, and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, see you guys later.